Okay, uh, I'm just gonna keep on going with this setup. We'll troubleshoot it, but I think it works for now. I'm doing a TikTok live stream. Go follow me on TikTok at Running Gun Tarot. Reach out for one on one reading as always. Follow me on TikTok as well as across all social media at Running Gun Tarot. Um, if I'm playing to the other camera too much, don't mind me. I'm just using this uh, camera for recording so I could upload, and then I also have a, a live stream camera going on as well. So I'm gonna try to play to both. Uh, I got three different camera lenses in front of me, so I'm gonna try to play to all of them. Um, Eight of Sword in the upright. This is for Taurus. If you're not Taurus, take it for a second house. Uh, you can look that up and see what that pertains to. This is worrying, overthinking. Could be definitely revolving around money or finances. Okay, confusion. You may not know where you stand entirely, but, but you've made a living out of living in this way. So this is for anyone that's very much so used to living and working off of a shoestring budget. Spirit is saying, I'm bringing in a new connection or a new relationship into your life that you're going to be able to work with. This could be both, both business and romantic. Okay, so on the romantic end, this could be someone that, you know, understands the situation that you're in. They're not too picky. They might be in a similar situation. On a business end, this could be a relationship where it could just, you know, bring positive financial aspects to your life. Um, but the, the answer is always never to worry. So regardless of how things seem in the 3D, you always want to tap into those higher qualities of the 5D or the quantum potential, as I like to call it on this channel. Let's see what comes out. Thank you guys for the likes. I see that I have 135 likes on TikTok. I love it. We're going to start a party over there um, daily. I'm going to try to go live on TikTok daily. Queen of Heart in the Upright, again, take this for Taurus. If you're not Taurus, take it for your second house. You can Google that and see what that's about. Queen of Heart in the Upright. So this is a high level of emotional maturity, emotional stability. You might be the emotional leader on a team uh, or in a family. This is also Cancerian Gemini energy. It could be a mother figure, older sister, aunt, cousin energy. Someone is overseeing this relationship or this connection that you may finally um, be entering. Whoops, one second. Sorry about that. Are you guys still with me? Send me some hearts on the TikTok if you're still with me. So, so she's overseeing this Two of Cup connection. We get the Two of Cup because the Seven in reverse, the Nine in the upright, offset to the Two in the upright. And then obviously you could add that to the Queen, which is 13. So then we're going to go 13 and 2, 15, 6. So this is a nostalgia energy, Six of Cup energy. This might feel like you've known this person from a previous life. Um, if you have a family member that's helping you, you know, get a new gig, this could be that, some sort of inlay, some sort of inroad. What about it, Spirit? Anything we need to know? I'm getting that all of this is going to help you financially, though, is, is what it's coming across as. The five heart in the reverse. Yeah, this is speaking to a solo emotional journey is what I've been calling it. So feeling as though that you might have been going at it alone. Um, to me, that's all coming to an end. Okay, there's this new beginning, this new start for you emotionally. Remember, we had that six of cup that we just all canceled out, offset by the five in reverse. And that's going to give us that ace of cup in the upright energy. So that ace of cup in the upright is going to be brand new beginnings, all new, uh, fresh energy going into the uh, summertime. And if I had a eyeglass cleaner, I would wipe this lens really quick. I'll probably do that for the next video. Um, let's see what else comes out for Aries. If I have a pentacle in the upright, yeah, this is definitely a financial crisis here for some. Not Aries, Taurus, excuse me. Uh, Taurus or second house. If I said Aries, apologies. Four sword in the upright. Thank you guys for the hearts. Um, four swords in the upright. This is rest, relaxation. Okay, this is not... Um, overexerting yourself at this time, at least in regards to kind of spinning your wheels to that which you can't control. Okay, we're done with that. We're not working with those energies anymore. Six of Wands in the reverse. This is trusting your moral compass, trusting how far you've come, uh, knowing that you have a good credit score as far as your dharma, as far as your karma. 
<clears throat> however you want to call it, however you want to say. And that you could afford to take time off and you could afford to back up and trust that everything's going to fall into place even though seemingly things are falling apart on the outside. You could tell yourself that they are falling into place. It's a little kind of manifestation trick that I like to work myself. Um, if things look chaotic, you know, there's always those days where it feels like everything is going wrong, a million little pieces are like falling off the table, however you want to characterize it, but it's a good moment to remind yourself that things are just falling into place. Five of Swords in the Upright, you know that you are on the right side of history. You haven't been uh, the one that's been doing the betraying, you haven't been the one that's been treating others poorly, so you don't have to worry about that kind of karmic snapback. King of Pentacles, in fact, you will be reflecting and looking back from a place of uh, financial stability and well-being. Some would say opulence. Uh, King of Pentacles doesn't play around. And my feeling, my hunch with this energy is that this is something that you've kind of climbed and crawled your way up to. So, very lovely. Um, Sagittarius Full Moon, if you look for the small victories... They may be big victories for some, but if you look for the small victories, you will see that it's going to be the speed boost that you've been wanting and needing uh, that's coming through seemingly just in the nick of time. It's going to kind of light your inspiration, your motivational uh, factor within you for whatever it is that you're working towards. Um, and if you don't have something that you're working towards uh, that, you know, relates to this message, then you definitely need to, uh, you know, begin uh, finding that path for yourself. Let's see what comes out for Gemini. Uh, happy Gemini season. It's Gemini uh, birthdays coming around. Um, and as always, reach out for more. Let's see what comes out for Gemini next.